verse 21 is a glorious truth. Many of you need to hear this truth, perhaps, more than the rest of the verses, but I doubt it. But if that's the case, receive it. Verse 21 says, being subject to one another. One another. They're both ways, right? And it's a participle. We're jumping in the middle of a sentence. I know that. I told Chris, you can turn it into a verb so that it starts okay. And it's a participle because it's continuing verse 18. So let's read 18 to 21 and say what should be said about this participle. Verse 18, second half of the verse. Be filled with the Holy Spirit. That's the banner flying over this entire passage. When that happens, you soar. You see. You changed. So, be filled with the Holy Spirit, addressing one another in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs. We've been doing that with fervor. Singing and making melody to the Lord with your heart, not just your head. Giving thanks always and for everything to God the Father in the name of the Lord Jesus. Submitting. You see how it flows? Be filled with the Holy Spirit, submitting to each other. The mark of a marriage filled with the Spirit is mutual submission. Submit to one another. That's a mark of the Holy Spirit. Husbands and wives who are filled with the Holy Spirit serve each other. They humble themselves and get down low and lift the other up. They find ways to submit their immediate preferences for comfort to the need of the other. That's what Jesus did on the cross for us. He submitted his preference in the Gethsemane. Father, if there's any way out, my body would not like to suffer. If there's no way out, I will submit and get under and lift the church out of hell. And he did. Praise God. So I say, amen to the glory of verse 21. I want to serve my wife. I want to get under my wife, not over my wife. I want to lift her up on my back and meet her need and fulfill her longings. Amen. But the problem is egalitarians just stop there. Like, like, like the text is over. <laughs> like you don't need the rest of this text. Like there's nothing more to fill up here. Like you can leave all these young people that come to Bethlehem who don't have a clue what headship means. I had one young woman come up and said, I've never heard this concept in my life. Ever. Husband head, what in the world does that mean? Wife submit, what is that? The, 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 it's just, it's, it's, a, it's a foreign language. So, we're just going to be egalitarians and say, yes, we've heard the word, go out, serve each other, love each other. There's no up, under, no hierarchy, no head, no submit. That's just, uh, well, what, mar what, what boggles my mind is that every ordinary reader recognizes that after verse 21 summons us to mutual submission, 12 Verses are devoted to differences in the relationship. <laughs> just, just, this is so easy to see. Not easy to do, but easy to see. And my longing for you is that you would recognize that you do not need to abandon verse 21 when you get to verse 22. Or vice versa. We are to be mutually humble, mutually ready to serve, mutually eager to meet each other's needs, mutually eager to build each other 
up mutually eager to sacrifice for each other. Christ has changed everything. Christian message about men and women is radical in almost every culture in its beauty for both. 